Three of the victims who were shot were brought to MedStar Washington Hospital Center to be treated for gunshot wounds, and Nancy Cordes is there. Nancy? Scott, a D.C. police officer has the most serious injuries here. He was shot in both legs. Then there are two female Navy employees here. One was grazed by bullets in the head and the hand. Amazingly, she will not require surgery. The other was hit in the shoulder, and she did undergo surgery today. She is now recovering nicely, according to Dr. Janice Ostrowski, the chief medical officer here at MedStar. She's in very, very good spirits. She actually uh, was uh, ordering the doctors and nurses around, and we told her that we were in charge here. Have the victims been able to communicate with investigators? All three of the victims came in talking. They, they came in, they were speaking um, from the get-go. I've actually um, personally have talked to all three of them. Um, I would tell you that the um, uh, police officer, when he came in, he was most concerned about being able to talk to his mother. The Secretary of the Navy, Ray Mabus, visited the victims and called the shooting a stunning blow to his department. Uh, the Navy family today suffered a horrific attack, and we are a family. Uh, the civilians that work in Navy um, and do the critical work that, that has to be done uh, suffered um, just a stunning and horrific blow today. The injured D.C. police officer spent most of the day in the operating room. He has wounds to his blood vessels and his bones in his legs. But, Scott, tonight we're told that he is in stable condition and is expected to survive. Thank you, Nancy.